in that game at Cameron Indoor Stadium. He is a good passer, so they want to cut off him. The switch, Wardenberg now on Bancaro. Griffin, another three, and Duke on the board. Injuries in high school, late in high school, and again in October, so a slow start to, th to this year, but it's really come on big in the second half. Charlie Moore tried to get a quick post up for Wendell Moore Jr. being guarded by Charlie Moore. Moore long on the three. Bancaro takes it away from Miller and slams it home. It's a five out offense. They only get in there on dribble penetration. You'll rarely, if ever, see a post up, but you will see some three. Magusti sizing up Williams, misses the three. I think you'd rather drive that than settle for the shot. Boy, look at Wendell Moore Jr. going end to end in the blink of an eye. And Duke, as we have mentioned so many times this year, has four different guys that grab a rebound. They can bring it up by themselves. They don't need to make an outlet. Miller and the lefty reverses it up and in with the right. So, you know, Duke has not been a team that's forced a ton of turnovers in ACC play. Good head. Wow. Wardenberg just picks the pocket of Moore, and Miami's lead is eight. And when they force help, they can kick it out, and you're always kicking it to somebody on the floor. They can do something with it. Crossover by Paulo Bancaro, and he flips it up and in with the left hand. Isaiah Wong off to McGusty, who just ran into Bancaro and turned it over. And Bancaro a strong drive and count the bucket, too. That was just strength. Look at the size difference there. I mean, he just got a, a, a little bit of the ball fouled. Split between Cal, Kansas, DePaul, and now Miami. Or tough shot by Mark Williams. Jordan Miller, was it Miller? I think gave him three shot fakes and still couldn't get the shot over Williams, the premier shot blocker in the, in the conference, as opposed to adapting his personnel to his favorite style. Jump ball goes to Williams. He'll win most of those, and Bancaro cleans it up. The senior, a 41% three-point shooter on the season for the Blue Devils. And the Duke fans now making their presence felt here in Brooklyn, and that'll only get them louder. The Horned Frogs. I'm going to get your opinion on the, the Hokey Bird later on during our second game tonight as Mark Williams ties the game. Got a switch now. Gave it up. Got it back. Launches Charlie Moore for three Roach for three And the loose ball down to Wardenburg Miami's got numbers And Wong's got a chance for three Got the foul and the finish maybe that'll get Isaiah Wong going in this game. streaming live on the ESPN app our director Mike Lloyd loves his toys and the above the rim cam is one of his toys as Griffin lays it in I didn't know that Reese Davis is now the Marlon Perkins of <laughs> ESPN The drive and the finish for Griffin. It's a six-point game Another deflection, but it bounces into the hands of Keels Griffin's open again Boy, you take a gamble McGusty tried to get a steal on Charlie Moore as well Miller with the shot clock a factor. Tough shot, wow. and it will go. What a big time shot. Griffin looking for his right now, and why not? Six seconds in the half. Roach. Oh, somehow that got over the rim and in. How did that go in? I don't know. That looked like it defied physics a little bit. Griffin baseline over Wardenburg, too strong, and Miller down with a rebound. What a pass. Moore, how about the vision and how about the dish to Magusti? Just caught Cam Magusti streaking down the right side of the floor. Now Wendell Moore Jr. with a nice look. Boy, the way this one is going, you don't want to help off of A.J. Griffin. Wendell Moore Jr. How pretty was that? <laughs> but somebody's going to have to pick up Mark Williams when he rolls. Yeah, and if, it, if it's not Wardenberg, because he was up top, it's going to be somebody who's a lot smaller than Mark Williams. Van Caro trying to use that size advantage. Instead, finds Williams, and Wardenberg rejects him the first time, but fouls him the second. That is good a look as he can ever hope to have. 
Blocked by Moore. Wendell Moore Jr. at the other end on Charlie Moore. Been a Bancaro, but he's about 40 pounds lighter than him. Yeah, it doesn't have that bulk. Well, this is a good skip passing team. Mcgusty count the bucket. Boy, when you can skip it across, good driver. That left-handed drive, strong with it. Got fouled by Wendell Moore Jr. and finished the play. Yeah. But Miami's missing their opportunity. One for six for the Hurricanes, who are 75% of the season as a team. Bancaro, wow, that's a big time move. The trap comes to him off the ball screen, and he just back dribbles and splits it, and is able to see Bancaro wide open underneath. As big a playmaker as they have on the team. Well, essentially, he did play point guard early on in the season. He initiates offense quite a bit. Williams sticking with it, and it's the largest lead of the game for the Blue Devils. Miami needs a score here. It's a key point in the game. And they'll get it. A bullet pass from Charlie Moore to Cam McGusty. And now Roach will slow it down. Not for long, though. He kind of lulled everybody to sleep, didn't he? Virginia Tech and North Carolina still to come about 25 minutes after the conclusion of this game. Hurricanes need a bucket. Wow. They've been getting hurt on that ball screen action when they're trying to double it. Duke has been passing out of it effectively. Moore challenges Wardenberg and banks it home. Moore with nine points, six rebounds in this game. The reverse for Jordan Miller, who is having himself a nice. They could just switch it, but that might give them some matchups they don't like. Miller again. Boy, he has become the go-to guy along with Cam McGusty right now. A.J. Griffin just picked up his third foul. McGusty's been hot and wow. stays hot. Right over Mark Williams. He's back on top. Wendell Moore Jr. Not for long. Duke reclaims the lead. A tough pull-up jumper. Miami right back at him. What a swat though by Moore denying Isaiah Wong. That's his second big block like that. And what a trip for Moore. Good defense by Roach. Wardenberg open in the corner to tie it. A couple of tips, but nothing doing. And Miller was right there for the tip in. Heels lays it in, Duke by four. Still want to attack the basket. You're more likely to get a three doing that. Charlie Moore lays it in, four-point game. Pretty good look, Wardenberg. Wow, and it's down to three. They'll give Moore the layup. Now Moore actually stole it. I think that would have counted had it gone, but a four-point win for Duke as they get pushed right to the end again. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.